If you are not sure the finance is right for you, maybe the first step, NISM and NCFM. So we've made a lot of videos on what kind of professional qualifications we can actually pursue will help you get your first, I would say, job opportunity in the industry in companies, which as always are the most popular, like the big four. So these qualifications are generally along the lines of our Indian CA, whether they are global equivalent like ACCA, the finance equivalent like CFA, so on and so forth. But in this video, we're going to talk about maybe the first step you know, which can be actually construed as the step before you take any of these qualifications, yet have the same recognition and value that is commensurate with the effort put in. And I'm talking about NISM and NCFM. NISM is the National Institute of Securities Market and NCFM, which is the NSC Academy Certification in Financial Markets. Both of these are recognized by credible a uh, compliance related body. First one is recognized by SEBI, the other one is recognized by NSC. Sometimes you don't really know what you want to do, right? NISM is much more about uh, compliance related certifications and NCFM is a little advanced. It's a little more detailed on practical application and knowledge, but both are essentially going to teach you about the markets. So they sort of fall under the brackets of capital markets, which some people put under the bracket of financial markets in the field of finance. So. If you are not sure if finance is right for you, you've always been thinking that, okay, I've heard a lot about these stock markets and share markets and, you know, people invest and make a lot of money and investment is super important. I used to hear that all the time growing up and it turns out that, okay, what I'm good at is running the finance aspect of actually an organization rather than only invest in the markets. So I'm very happily investing my bit by giving it to a professional who then puts it in different avenues rather than me directly putting it. But I figured this out the hard way by actually trying and wasting a few years investing because I thought fundamentally I have to do it all. So my recommendation in this video is you guys can actually do research on NISM and NCFM, take up some basic uh, modules from these. They actually give you a very good insight on the Indian economy and Indian market. So that's an awesome thing. A lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of certification program that you buy on Udemy or Coursera are more of financial markets from the West or maybe at a global level, but Indian context, only Indian bodies can give you. So number one is please pick up some of these courses. There's one on wealth management. There are some on financial markets of, of which are of our own stock markets. Uh, there are some a little deeper on aspects like derivatives. Of course, you, you can start with the most elementary level. If they are short, they're not too expensive. You can honestly self-study a lot of them. So they're a really good insight into whether you like this field. You can spend six months studying and actually applying. Take 10,000 rupees from your father if you can borrow it from somebody with the intent of paying them back at the earliest and not losing it. But dabble in this, right? Is Are these the three kind of things that you really like? And if so, you can actually decide a longer term qualification. It could be something as basic as a CFP. It could be something advanced like a CFA or you can say, I don't like the markets and I'm just going to focus on other aspects of finance and accounting because there are many over there. So you don't get jumbled up into whether you should go for the markets, 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 because the whole universe around you is talking about that from either making you feel inadequate that you don't know enough or you're not making enough money to scaring you that this is the only way to sustain in the long term. So with all of that said, if this is something that you feel is going to help you, I would recommend, please do check it out. Share what you found on, in our comments so others like you can find the same. And then once you get the hang of what you like as a step one into your career, you then decide a long-term qualification, which in turn gives you a lot of value. So with that said, I hope this is the, you know, not the first time you're visiting this channel, but if you are, then please do subscribe. And as always, if you've left anything, then please leave it back in the comments. We'll enjoy and make a video for you guys.